In the previous video I showed how to make plans and sections from a 3D model using clipping planes, construction planes and the make 2D command. In this video we will prepare the 2D drawings for print. Here are some drawings made from a 3D model to the right. There are two sections, two elevations and a plan showing the ground floor. I'll start by aligning the drawings. I do this by drawing a line from an edge that is visible on every drawing. Then moving the drawings accordingly. This elevation has no relation to the edge of the other drawings, so I'll just center it. Next I'll make a boundary line. Trim the lines that cross the boundary using the trim tool. By dragging from right to left, Rhino will trim all geometry that is within or crossing the selection frame. Repeat this for all drawings. At this point the project has no basement and I have not yet decided on a foundation. So I'll just trim away the lines that go below the ground. I'll use a combination of trim and delete. This will take some time so let's speed things up a bit. If I hide the lines layer, only the section curves are visible. The section consists of several overlapping lines. Let's clean that up a bit. Use trim, delete and extend if necessary. The section consists of several line segments. By selecting these segments and using the join command, we join the curves, making it easier to select. Here 4 curves are joined into 2 open curves. And here 28 curves are joined into 1 closed curve. By looking at the curve points, you'll notice that the curve has several extra points. Points that are not necessary for defining the curve. These points can be removed with the simplify curve command. The drawing contains a lot of extra lines that will clutter your drawing. Let's clean up the facades a bit. Next we'll trim away the lines that overlap the section. If you choose to use a solid hatch for your section lines, you can skip this step. Hatches can only be applied to closed curves. Select your section curve and launch the hatch command. The hatch menu lets you choose from a variety of hatches. You can change the orientation and the scale of your hatch. I'll stick to the solid color. If you want a hatch showing the ground, you must make a closed curve. Draw the size and the bottom line. Then join all the curves into one closed curve.
Now repeat the hatch command. In order to provide a decent drawing, you must vary the line thickness. This will show what is most and least important, making the drawing easier to read. In Rhino, line thickness can be assigned to individual layers. I'll make a bunch of layers and use them for organizing my lines. It might be helpful to assign a color to your layer. The lines will take the color of the layer they are assigned to. This will show you what lines are already assigned to a layer. When you're through, you're ready to move on to the layout. 